time to talk task cards. Here at That Smoky Teacher, task cards are one of our favorite resources to make and share with you. Today I'm going to be sharing five new and different things you can do with a set of task cards. First things first, what are task cards? Task cards are individual questions that have been segmented out. So on each card, students are only seeing one question at a time. You're going to want to make sure your questions are always numbered so students know what they're working on. Another key piece that comes with a set of task cards is a recording sheet. This is where students are going to record their work and turn in to show you what they've been working on as they've worked through a traditional task card set. Task card use number one is the classic, a task card scoot. This is a way that most educators tend to use their task cards because it is so fun and a great way to get your students moving around the room. Take your task cards and hang them up individually around the room. Students will then move through the room to answer each question on that recording sheet. A few things we want to make sure we do when we use task cards. Number one, put them where students can get to them and put them at eye level. Not your eye level, student eye level. If students are having to work really hard to get to the cards, they're going to be able to spend less time working to answer the question. We also want to make sure that we are not putting time limits on these because some students need more time to work. I always like to have an early finisher activity lined up because I know some students are going to work through my task cards more quickly than others. Another great way to use those task cards is putting them as a center rotation. Task cards are great because you typically have more than 10 questions, so no matter how many students are working in your group at that center, each student can be working on one question independently. This makes that center truly an independent workstation, which means the volume is going to stay nice and low while students work. Sometimes task cards require a little more cognitive work for our students, and I love that because it means I can put task cards in a center and students will be able to work on them in that center all week long. They keep up with their recording sheet, and each time they go to that center, they bring it with them to keep answering questions. Another great way to use task cards is one that we love because it feels a lot more like a whole group activity where everyone is actively participating in learning. I love using task card pairs. This means every student in the room will be given a task card. They then become an expert on that task card. You're going to want to have the answers available to students so they know that they've done the work correctly. They will then take their card that they're an expert on and teach someone else all about their question. This means students become really familiar with that one question, but they also are seeing all the other questions that other students are using in the room. Students will take that one question and continue to teach their classmates how to do that task. Another great way to use task cards with partners is to play the game Quiz Quiz Switch. Every student gets a task card, solves the work, and then goes and finds someone else. Their new partner will then have to solve the work as well and they compare answers. When you're done, students will switch cards and then start the process over again. Go find someone else, solve their card, and then check each other's answer. Both great ways to get students using those task cards, moving around the room, and building their brains. Task cards can also be used in whole group as well. If you think about it, when you purchase a set of task cards, you're actually getting a huge collection of questions. I love to take a set of task cards and snip pictures of them and put them right into my lessons. It's a great way to use them as a show what you know tool. Display one question at a time, give students the opportunity to solve the question on their whiteboard or in their journals, and then they have to show you their answers. It's a really quick and easy way for you to evaluate who understands or who needs more support. Think about doing this before you start your instruction as a quick pre-assessment or towards the end as part of your review. Nothing says task cards have to be an independent activity. You can bring them into your whole group lessons as well. Idea number five to use those task cards well in your classroom is to have them set up as an early finisher activity. You know those kids who fly through everything you give them, and as long as they're flying through it correctly, I love giving them a next opportunity that they can slide right into. Now, we want those early finisher activities to be engaging and academic, and task cards is a fantastic way to do that. I have an early finisher drawer that always has a box of task cards in it related to our current content, along with the recording sheets. 
students know when they finish a task, they can head right to that drawer to grab the box of cards and the recording sheet. If they don't finish them during the allotted time, they just keep the sheet and continue to go back to it throughout the week. I can't talk about task cards without briefly hitting on task card storage. You know we love a storage solution around here. I like to cut, laminate, and store all of my task cards in classic photo keepers. There's colorful ones, there's clear ones, and most of them, see if I can get it up here, most of them come in these great cases where you can store each photo box and have those task cards ready to go. So many of our resources in our Teachers Pay Teachers store include task cards. They're engaging, they're fun, and students love to use them. One of my favorites are the third and growing fourth grade math curriculums. Now it is a curriculum, so you're getting lesson plans, homework, pre and post assessments, everything you need to teach amazing math lessons to your third and fourth graders. But each unit within the curriculum also includes developmentally appropriate and standard correlated task card sets. I hope I've given you some ideas for ways you can use those task cards in your classroom. Hanging them up for a scoot is so much fun and there's so much more that you could be using them for. As always guys, let me know down in the comments your favorite way to use task cards and any other videos you wanna see from us. I hope you guys have a not so wimpy day. Bye!